Austin and Stevens 50s or classic 50s diner rather and grilling attracts visitors from all over. And it's more than just the burgers and shakes that bring them through the door. 7 and 4's Brett Cast joins us now live right here in the studio to explain what's so special about this local favorite. Good morning, Brett. Hey, good morning, Tom. Straight out of the 1950s, Dawson and Stevens classic 50s diner is a step back in time. It doubles as both a diner and museum by featuring classic booths and bar stools, an old style soda machine, and a lot of Coca-Cola memorabilia. If you're drawn to the outside of this classic diner and grayling, just wait until you step inside. This doesn't look like much, but it is extremely valuable. Bill Gannon is the owner of Dawson and Stevens Classic 50s Diner, which also happens to be the largest private collection of Coca-Cola memorabilia in northern Michigan. However, it didn't start out that way. You know, if it wasn't for Bill Hicks and the Bottle Camp Museum, we wouldn't be standing here right now, probably. When Gannon bought the space that was once Dawson's Drugs, he was looking to purchase a few Coke bottles as decoration. And that's when he visited the Bottle Cap Museum owned by Bill Hicks. So he took me downstairs into the museum. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I was laid out beautiful. Coke everywhere. There wasn't a thing down there that wasn't Coke. Instead of buying just a few bottles from the museum, Gannon bought the whole thing, transforming his diner into a Bottle Cap Museum of his own that's filled with more than just items, but memories. We have a couple come in here almost every day, and they started dating in here. He bought her a Coke, and that was their first date here. They still come here almost every single day. I, walk, I see them walking down the sidewalk coming in. For Gannon, Dawson and Stevens Classic 50s Diner and the Bottle Cap Museum inside is more than just his business, it's his passion. When you're my age, um, you know, things need to mean something to you. You don't just go through the actions of the day and run your business. I mean, I want to have some substance to it, and that's what we have here. Hmm. And that's not even all the memorabilia he has there. He has a lot in the storage, a climate-controlled storage area as oh well. Oh my gosh! And he alternates it in and out of the oh uh, of the restaurant. Yeah. And as for uh, Bill Gan or Bill Hicks, uh, he and Gannon have uh, breakfast. Uh, once a month, they meet up occasionally, and he comes in the store all the time to no see kidding. all his old stuff. And that hat, if you saw uh, down there, he always puts that on when he goes through and <laughs> gives people tours of all the uh, memorabilia. So that is too fun. Yeah. Did you have a Coke when you were there? I didn't actually. You didn't. I didn't. No, you were you were busy working. Yeah, I, I was get very it. busy working. Yeah. Too <laughs> a little too early in the morning for me. Too, right. Uh, <laughs> what a cool place, though. I've got to check it out. And it's yeah. one of those things that are, it's kind of. Out of the way, you don't really necessarily know about it unless. Yeah, I had seen right. it for a while passing through Grayling. I had, you know, been to a couple of the places down there, and I'd always like, I wonder what that is. And then I'd read something online and heard about it, and yeah. Nice. And there you go. Nice. Sounds, well, sounds thanks, like a good, good excuse for a road trip. Yeah.